Hi, good morning. Uh, <laughs> welcome. Uh, it's you know it's Saturday. And it's a glorious day. My Mets uh, won uh, game one of the National League, you know, division series, the best of five. They won. It was a fantastic game. And by the way, I I put up my video diary of that, uh, uploaded that before I went to sleep. Um, well, I guess as I went to sleep because I uploaded it, and then this, while it was loading, I just went to sleep. I think around three thirty. And uh, so I got about four hours sleep. Actually, um, when I recorded my I recorded my video, I think I, it was like one something, almost t two, and I think I slept another hour in my chair, which I tend to do lately. Uh, so I got about I think about five hours of sleep. I think or maybe four and a half. So I'll, you know I'll be pumped up for tonight's game, which starts at nine o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Uh, we got Thor pitching for us. You know Syndergaard, Noah, and but Jacob Degrom. What can I say? He pitched a hell of a game. 13 strikeouts in his first playoff game. Jacob DeGrom was money. He's, you know, pitching against Kershaw, probably the best pitcher in all of baseball. And the Mets beat him, okay? The Mets beat him. Even though he had, I think, like 11 strikeouts or something before they pulled him. But the Mets beat him, okay? That's the thing. And, and, and they, Jacob DeGrom outdueled him. He was clutch. I, I can't say enough great things about Jake DeGrom. Terry Collins let him pitch seven innings, which is good. And I think I said in my commentary, they let him pitch to the seven innings. But, you know, because he ran pitch count, I think, to 121. But thankfully, you know, <laughs> Terry Collins pulled him after seven. And Tyler Clippert got two outs, but then he gave up a run. Okay, but thankfully, uh, Terry Collins went and got him. And the half a million pitch and had to get a four-out save, which is good. But, um... And I know they asked Terry in the post game, is he going to let uh, Tyler Clippert, I think he said he's going to, yeah, let him start again, I guess. I don't know if he's loyal, but screw this. Give Addison Reed, okay, a shot. If you know, I know Tyler Clippert is <coughs> your man. You want to show loyalty to him, Terry, but hey, hey, no more of this. But I'm glad that he had a quick hook, though. Once he gave up that double, uh, the single, the double and the single to uh, the Dodgers, and it looked like it might get a be a big inning. He yanked them and got for me and for the nice four out save, which is good. But you you do have Anderson Reed out there, so remember that Terry Collins. I know you want to be loyal to your to your uh, to your players, but in the eighth inning tonight, if Thor gives us seven good innings, which I think he can, uh, in the eighth inning you can start Anderson Reed. Okay, you can let him start. And then if you want to stop Tyler Clipper and put him in the game three, that's okay. But remember that you have options, Terry Collins. So don't get don't be a, such a homer or such a traditionalist right, that you, uh, you know, but you have other options in the bullpen too. So, don't, you know, I know you want to get Tyler Clifford going, and he was great when he first got here for the Mets. I have to, you know, his first uh, dozen appearances, he was absolutely lights out, but now he's been, you know, become very hittable, unfortunately, uh, even though he got the quick two outs. But just make sure you uh, remember you have Addison Reed, and you, you can let him pitch the eight too. You can. You have options, okay? That's all, that's all I'm saying. And tonight, I hope the Mets score some run. Granky is a tough pitcher as well. He had a great season. But I think, uh, and Conforto is going to start, which is good because, oh, my God, Michael Kadai was, was, oh, I'm sorry, this blog is all about my Mets. <laughs> but I'm sorry, I'm just super stoked about the Mets, you know, winning that first playoff game in nine years. And Captain Clutch, David Wright, got the key, that key hit, that two-run Single in this uh, seventh inning. Thank you, David. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, David. And I, and, I, and that means a lot to me because he, there was doubt that he was going to come back and play this season, and he came back and he fought his way back. And thank you, David, for for all that you do and for being on you know, And that was a nice present for you after nine long years of not being in the playoffs. Okay. Anyway, uh, so game uh, two tonight. Thor's pitching that I, I'll do. I'll be doing the same thing I did before my video diary, which is up on my channel. If you want to watch that, I did it every two innings at the beginning of the game, before the game came on, and then every two innings I give an update of what was going on and just edit it together. And, and my final commentary at the end. And let's go Mets. Okay. Anyway, the goal today is um, it's not a real movie that I want to see. I, I was thinking about going to see uh, the Walk, but. You know, I heard people were getting sick, you know, getting sick <laughs> watching the, uh, especially in IMAX and 3D, and 
that shaky camp stuff. What was that movie? That was a movie, uh, VHS, that was it. That movie made me so nauseous watching that. And I, I don't want to watch any movie. You know, I like, I love uh, Joseph Gordon the Vet, but I don't want to watch a movie that's going to make me dizzy. And, uh, you know, so maybe I'll wait till that movie comes on video and watch it at home or something. But Because I was thinking about going and watching IMAX, but then I, I don't want to get, you know, get nauseous watching a movie. And I know a lot of people report it that they got nauseous and and more likely I would be one of those people because I don't want to watch, you know, as much as I love that, want to see that movie, I don't want to get nauseous at the end, okay? That's the last thing I want. I want to be perfectly healthy <laughs> for tonight for my Mets. Uh, but anyway, but today, I think what I'm going to do is, um, it's, uh, right now it's 8.39. I was watching, trying to watch all the commentary about the Mets and stuff, so that's why this vlog is a little late. What I want to do is, um, get up, wash up, eat. And I think I want to maybe watch a horror movie, my Jay Pass Saturday reviews, and then go downtown anyway. Even if I don't see a movie, just go downtown to do my movie shopping. And I was thinking, debating about going to Comic Con. It's at the Javits Center. I think today's the second day. And uh, just to see the Batman and Superman uh, exhibit, which should be, might be extra crowded, but uh, maybe just stop by there, you know, maybe buy a hat or something. Because I know they got the hats, you know, some of the hats or something, maybe posters or something, whatever. And I want to see the display. You know, they got the bat armor, I think, and the Superman display. In it. So I want to maybe go down there and see. I'm going to go look on YouTube and see if uh, people, you know, because I'm sure people went to it and filmed it. Uh, so, you know, and I'm looking forward to the uh, trailers. That should be that should be uh, a trailer with, with Supergirl comes on. It's focused on Superman. And then a trailer on Gotham. It focuses on Batman. Uh, they, Supergirl debuts on, I think, the 26th, whatever the Monday is, uh, and this, later this month, I think in two weeks. But anyway, um, and then, you know, after, if I go downtown and do my movie shop, maybe drop by the Comic Con, spend maybe I'll drop by there. If not, and then, then get back uptown and, you know, do my food shopping and get back in the house and maybe watch one movie for my uh, Trey Fast Society reviews because I got to be up, pant, pumped for my Met game. So, we all just watch one movie and upload a video of that. And like I said, um, next week, uh, Goosebumps comes out and um, uh, Crimson Peak, which I want to watch, both those movies. Those come out next week. Although I might have to see my brother. I'll go see my brother on Saturday. So I may have to see those movies on Sunday. I may have to go Sunday. Hopefully, the Mets, if the Mets win the playoff series, I don't want to miss... You know, I gotta look at this possible schedule. You know, so maybe I might go see Crimson Peak on Friday, because I have to go see my brother on that Saturday, on next Saturday. So maybe I'll go see Crimson Peak on Friday, Friday night after work, and then see maybe Goosebumps Sunday morning. Go see it, and then get back uptown. You know, watch football and any baseball that might be. You know, so maybe I'll do it that way for next week. But um. Like I said, I'm debating. I'll look and see, because I don't think, like I said, there's no other movie that I really want to see. I was, like I said, I was debating to see The Walk, but you know that part about it being making people dizzy. I don't, you know, I was gonna go see it in IMAX 3D, but like I said, I get queasy. Like I said, VHS, the first VHS movie, maybe queasy. All the shaky cam, and I know people, there were reports saying people were getting a little uneasy because of the height, the way they filmed it, and I do. Have a little acrophobia myself, you know. I think that's acrophobia, right? Or fear of heights. I have a little bit of that, I think. Not that much, but the other shaky cam thing makes me completely dizzy. But I'll debate. You'll see whether tonight, I don't know, I may go see it anyway. Cause it starts at 1 o'clock, which means I have to leave my house around 11 40, something like that, 11 45. Uh, it's 8 43 right now, so I've got about three hours to decide if I'm going to go and see the walk. Uh, Maybe I'll see Everest. Uh, no, but I think I want to see The Walk. It, it depends. You know, i got to judge it for myself. But either way, if I don't see it or not, see it. And i got to check out my apps for maybe stopping by. I know it's at the Javits Center at Comic Con. So I'm going to debate, you know. So you'll know what I, you know, what I, by based on what's on my channel towards the, <laughs> when I get back. Either there'll be a video about me 
talking about the walk, <laughs> uh, or me just make a quick video if I go to Comic Con, you know, just to see, just to see the Batman Superman display thing up. You know, maybe buy a hat or something. Okay, so that's gonna be my Saturday, and uh, I'm in a good mood because my Mets won, and I gotta make sure. And last night I wasn't sure if I was gonna, because <laughs> I tend to again fall asleep in my chair, but I was so pumped and amped up for the Met game. The first game I could. I powered through. I, you know, I was tired, but I knew I wasn't going to sleep, at least initially, until the game was over, because I was just pumped up, and I'm going to be pumped up again tonight, despite how tired I may be towards the end. It's, I know adrenaline is going to keep me up, <laughs> so it'll be another late night tonight. Again, I went to sleep at 3.30, I think, and because uh, you know, I have to upload the video, video diary, so I'll be doing another one tonight. So hopefully, like I said, Dick, Thor, it's a great game, and thank you. Jacob DeGrom for putting the game of your life. And thank you, Captain Clutch David Bright, for providing that two run single in the seventh. And thank you, Daniel Murphy, Murph for hitting that Murphy S home run you hit, which was a sweet bomb. Thank you, Murph. Okay, and uh, let's go, Mets. And this is Trey Passer saying so long and take care.